Today I had a, a special request asking how to actually hook this up um, to some type of a MIDI device. So basically, first off, this little uh, Mustang, uh, Fender Mustang, little rock, uh, rock band controller, uh, it basically has this right here, this MIDI. And if you can see here, it's five dens. It's kind of hard to see a little bit, but there it is. It's five dens in there, okay? And basically what I have, have is a MIDI uh, interface that's, that I'm going to plug in uh, to it. Let me unplug it so you can actually see what it looks like and what a MIDI interface is. There's a MIDI interface right here. And basically, I'm going to plug in, and you can get these... I don't know, 30 bucks, um, maybe 14 bucks if you buy some off-brand one. And what I want to do is I want to go out of here. And so basically it says on, on here, to MIDI out. Uh, a lot of them say MIDI out to MIDI in. So basically I would want to go, uh, well, they don't actually say anything. It goes into the MIDI interface. It basically you go out of this into the MIDI interface. And then that's what that's what you want. So I want this goes to the MIDI out. So I'm gonna plug this in the MIDI interface right here. It should fit in. Yeah, there it is. And then, so there's the MIDI interface, and you can see right there what uh, MIDI. That's the male side of the five dens for the MIDI. So we've got the MIDI interface going on here. I'm gonna plug this into the back of a uh, computer or whatever device. You could theoretically put, uh, plug this into your iPad if you wanted to as well. I'm going to open up GarageBand, and now I can already see that I have. Uh, let's move around a little bit. You see the the buttons actually working right there, USB. And if I come over, uh, let me open up a new project real quick. I'm just using GarageBand right now, and basically, I got things set up right. Oh, and I got to turn it on, of course. So I'll turn it on right there. And to, to add the volume up. And and so basically, I am playing this um, on the garage band, which is a little bit hard to see. So I'll just double click here. Pick on a different sound. Say I pick on a fiddle or something like that. And now you got a couple modes on here. You got the single note mode. If I put on just for fun, I'm gonna put it on a guitar sound just to kind of. And it actually works pretty good, just the default setting on it. These buttons here can control other various things on it. So. And of course I can hit record on GarageBand or whatever software I'm going to use. Stop, hit rewind, play, and I got this going on. And if I wanted to record another track of it, I could uh, duplicate that track. I make another, maybe make some type of uh, A's uh, clean or something like that. some other type of sound. I'm just kind of just picking some type of electric. And if I wanted to, I can just record that on top of that. Okay, so that's how you use it. 
rock and roll. And I uh, hope that helps you set up your uh, GarageBand controller, uh, uh, your rock band controller to your GarageBand or whatever piece of software you're going to use this MIDI. As long as it's got MIDI, it should work. And if it's not working, you need a MIDI interface or you need the right software uh, so your MIDI interface can, can talk to your MIDI software itself. So it's probably one of those things if it's not working inherently. And my, my, one thing about for me on this here, I find it's actually easier just to just come back here and take out, the, take out a battery to turn it off. So that's kind of what I usually do is just take out the battery and now it's off. And I can save my battery. Yeah, rock and roll.